Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Top Stadium Club Baseball 8-box half case random team number two, second half of the case that we popped open late last night. Big thanks all of these folks for getting into it. Appreciate it. No Diamondbacks in this set, but sometimes there could be some variations for the Diamondbacks. We'll do a uh, Diamondbacks randomizer at the end, and some, someone will get all the Diamondbacks as a lot, if there's any to send at all in the first place. All right, oh, didn't even complete this part. 2019 Tops Stadium Club Baseball, new release, just dropped yesterday. So very exciting. All right, let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three times, one and a two. One, two, and three. Easy. We've got Mark. Down to Mark. And then one and a two, three times for the teams. One. There's one. Two and three. Good luck. After three times, we got the Mets. Down to the Reds. And I'll give everyone a few moments to digest their teams and actually let's uh drop a checklist for you guys too so you can see so there it is if you're watching live the checklist is in the chat so you can see uh what your team has all right so mark you have the mets derek williams dwill d will with the rangers Eric has the Mariners. Tim with the Braves. Daniel with the Astros. Mark Madsen with the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo. Chris Freeze is in the house too. White Sox for him. George with the Royals. Ryan with the Brew Crew. Now, Ryan, you've got the little little uh, symbol next to your name because you got that in a uh, Gold Rush break, I think, from last night. Daniel with the Angels. Roy, last bought Mojo, A's. Eric with the Red Sox. George with the Cardinals. Mark with the Marlins. Daniel with the Cubs. Mark with the Twins. Tim, you got the Blue Jays. Ryan with the Yankees. Chris with the Padres. Sean, you got my Dodgers, Mark with the Pirates, Rockies, Nationals, Arturo with the Orioles, Mark with the Tampa Bay Rays, Stephen Surrey with the Indians, Mark with the Phillies, uh, Tigers for Cornelius, uh, and Mark Matheson, you have the Reds. So let's alphabetize by team. High cards are us. Do you think Will Ferrell should get tops MLB relic cards? What, from his, like, spring training adventure? Yeah, I think you should. Hi, Ron. All right, and here are the boxes right here. Remember, we marked them all, them all RT2, so we know that they're from the same case. So this break does take a bit of time. So we should have the next break ready to go in about an hour. I see about half a dozen orders coming in, so keep those orders coming. And then we'll check the orders afterwards and uh, after this break. And then we'll see what else we can get into. Plenty of new baseball on the site. We got Topps uh, Brooklyn collection on the site. So you can pick your players there. That should be a fun break to do. So check that out on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. A lot of S's there. No trades? Doesn't look like there's any trades. Not even, not even any trade chatter. It's all right. Well, let's get a move on then. Trade window closed. TWC. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everybody. Got to get that printer checked out. All right. There you go. Thursday the 27th. There's the list right here. Good luck, everybody. Now, just in the interest of time, I know there's a lot of variations and, and different foils and whatnot. Just in the interest of time, I'm going to kind of breeze through those pretty quickly. I'll show them on camera, but we'll breeze through those. Our shipping team, our sorting and shipping team does a great job at making sure that they uh, pull all of those variations. So everything that you see that should be shipped will be shipped to you. 
It's just veteran commons that won't be shipping. Gianni, what's going on? Yeah, the printer sounds like it needs a little oil, yeah. I'm gonna get that figured out. Those box topper that you see right there, on right right over here, those can be autographed too. And I think the autographed ones uh, are numbered. I think serial numbered like to 10 or something like that someone was saying last night. Obviously those box toppers will ship. A lot of great photography in this set. A lot of fun variations. Checklist is in the chat. If you scroll up a little bit, so you should be able to see what your team has. And I think CardboardConnection.com also has a nice uh, variation guide. All right. Good luck, everybody. So stuff like this red foil will ship. This chrome Chris Davis will certainly ship. All rookie cards, inserts, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. That black foil, I think, is a little less little shorter printed than some of the other ones. And the autographs are nice. Bryce Wilson starting things off. Rookie auto for Tim. Tim S. with the Bravos. Braves playing today? No, Thursday. Travel day, so not, not too many games there. Yeah, Braves fell to the uh, Cubs 9-7. Mark Matheson, you just jumped in. You've got a, you've got a lot of teams, right, Mark? Let's see if I can. Show you your teams really quick. After this box. It's Pee Wee Reese. That's a great shot. So that's red for that will ship. So sorry, I know some of the cards are upside down and sideways and horizontal and vertical. But this break takes so long, I just kind of have to breeze through these a little more quickly. Otherwise, it'll end up being like a two-hour break. Josh Hader. Nice. Ryan Redman, who got that spot in a, uh, in a gold rush break. It's a Josh Hader on-card autograph. Nice shot of Bryce Harper there. Cunha Jr. with the awards. I think we saw some one of these that were autographed too, right? Last night, that was pretty cool. And the oversized box loader is going to be Joey Votto. Nice, that's a great shot. Nice one for the Red Legs. That's for Mark Matheson, one of his 10 teams that he has. Set that right there. All right, Mark, here you go. You got a lot of teams in this one. You got Reds, Rockies, Marlins, Twins, Mets, Phillies, Pirates, Giants, Rays, Nationals. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. This is Random Team 2. Uh, yeah, the cards are us. The Rays and Twins have played two baseball games. They're in the middle of the 18th inning. Isn't that crazy? I think the uh, Rays just scored a couple, a few runs in the top of the 18th. Now they're going to the bottom of the 19th. Rex, what's going on? Is uh, is did Kimbrel make an appearance today? 
And I don't, I don't think they ended up sending down Alzale, right? Did they keep him up? I thought someone else was. Oh, I see the headline right now. Kimbrell earned save in first Cubs appearance. And Giancarlo Stanton back on the IL, unlikely to return before August. So maybe that, that injury-prone tag still uh, still on him. Before the 18th, they didn't score a run. Neither team did for four hours and eight days. So all those runs were that late. Pitcher's duel. That's what they call it. Good old pitcher's duel. Yeah, Gianni. Another strong day for me. So so far, so good. I was on the Phillies today. Minus 130. I think they walked it off. I was on the Rangers again today. They won. Seattle was a heavy underdog. They lost to the uh, Brewers. And I was on the Pirates again against the Astros. The Joe Musgrove revenge game. Pirates were plus 188. I was on them. Then I've got a couple more underdogs. Marlins and uh, Rockies tonight. There's some value in the Rockies. There's almost never value in my Dodgers. And then uh, Diamondbacks. Slight uh, road favorites. And on the uh, Oakland A's. Oh, you went with Pirates too? Pirates is great. The Joe, the Joe Musgrove revenge game. Going back to Houston. And there's Chris Shaw. Rookie autograph for Mark Matson and the Giants. Little oppo Joe Mojo. Nice Chris Shaw. I don't think there's any relics in Stadium Club. There traditionally is not. Next with Merrifield Red Foil. We've got to try to keep an eye out for the uh, members only seal that's on the that's on the front of these cards. Hey guys. Cause I think we didn't pull that one in the first one. You're on the Diamondbacks too, Gianni. Nice. We'll, we'll sweat out. We'll sweat out that game together. I don't know, Diamondbacks, especially with this guy. He's been playing some good ball. Dodgers games are always weird. The public is always on the Dodgers. Dodgers are always. I mean, they're a great team, so they're always a little overvalued, especially when Walker Bueller's on the mound. But weird things happen in Colorado. Weird things happen in Colorado, so. And there's the next autograph. It's for the Marlins. Wow, nice shot. Look at that. That is cool. Trevor Richards, rookie auto for the Marlins. Mark Matheson. Yeah, the 68-yarder. It was like in the first... And the score ended 1-0. Yeah, and he, he hit that in like the 10th minute. No. <laughs> it was just like, can you imagine? Like, like, I hate when goalies do that. Like, he just goes so far out. Like, yeah, and then he just saw it. He just spotted it. It was pretty great. The England game? Yep, they did. So that's a black and white Bo Jackson. I think that's one of the shorter printed variations that are in this set. So we'll pull that. Dodgers should wear red alternate uniforms with blue lettering? I want them to wear their blue spring training. You know the older blues? Like the yeah. older blues? I like those. So just black and gray. I don't know. I don't know about that cards are us. Red uniform? It doesn't look that doesn't sound right. And there's a box topper, Juan Soto. Nice, for Mark Matson and the Nats. It's a great shot. No. Dodgers, Dodgers don't need a third alternate. 
it's a, it's a classic uniform. See, uh, the Yankees don't have a third alternate, right? Cubs don't have a third alternate. Historic teams, right? historic teams yeah. We don't need to have those things. Uh, Justin, we only, we've only had... Got Trevor Richards, Chris Shaw, Josh Hader was a nice hit. Bryce Wilson, too. Nothing super huge as of yet out of the stadium club. I know, LeBron changing his number. Did you guys see LeBron James. Oh, do the Cubs have a third alternate? I didn't realize it. Um, yeah, LeBron James giving his 23 to Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis waving his trade kicker. So the Lakers have four more million dollars, right? And they moved Mo Wagner and Isaac Bonga and a couple other randos to the Wizards, I think. And so now they have like 32. They have the max max cap space. So Kawhi Leonard incoming to the Lakers. Lakers have the the because everyone was saying Lakers have as low as 23 million, but could have as much as 32, 33 million. Now they got everything. So should be crazy. I know it's a baseball break, but it's a long break, so we can meander off into different topics. I think it'd be cool if the Dodgers had a third, I guess if they did like a third alternate. Maybe the old, they, they, had, they wore pinstripes way back in the old Brooklyn days. They bring that back. No, you think Kawhi Leonard's going to be going to the Clippers? I don't know. They've got competition now. Yesterday, I would have agreed with you. But now I think that's a lot. That situation is a lot more murky now. I don't know if the Dodgers need an alternate, but it'd be—I guess it'd be fun to see one. Maybe some anniversary year they might—they might do it, whatever, whenever that may be. Ryan Sandberg. And there is Rookie Auto, Rowdy Tellez. And that goes to Tim. Tim S. with the Blue Jays. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll find, his, uh, find his teammate. No, Jim Gray says Kawhi saying with the Raptors. There's a good chance of that, too. I think there's a great chance of that. See you, Jackie. Nice Rowdy Tellez. Oh, see, I thought that seal was the members only seal. All right, if I miss it, our shipping team will find it and send it to you. I'm trying to catch it, though. And there's our next autograph. It's Brandon Lau. Rookie autograph for the Rays. Mark Masson with the Rays. Brandon Lau's been having a great season. Oh, that's 6 out of 10 as well. Nice. I was like, this looks a little different, right? 6 out of 10. Nice. That is strong. Right, the box loader is a Rocky. It's Nolan Arenado. Nice. Uh, Colorado Rockies, that's for Mark Matson. You 
You think Nikola Vucevic will go to Lake Country? Might sign for cheapish. Um, yeah, I mean, if if the Lakers don't end up with with a uh, with the elite tier free agent, then yeah, I don't I, I don't think Vucevic is a bad idea. You can piece together a a Vucevic, a few other guys. What's up, George? But I think I mean, if they're opening up that kind of money, you know, they're obviously chasing the elite tier guys first. And some may, some have been suggesting that a deal for some, I don't know who it is, a deal is done. Some kind of deal is done. Because Anthony Davis was never going to waive that $4 million trade kicker unless it was worth it. Unless the organization convinces him it's worth it. So, you know, why give that up unless you had assurances? So we'll see, we'll see how that works out. Off season, basketball offseason just gets crazier and crazier. You can pre-order Panini Chronicles basketball. That drops tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. With all this hoops action going on. Check that out. George, are you in this one? You you are. You got randomized the You got randomized the Royals. And you got randomized the Cardinals. I don't think I saw any autographs for them yet. Could have been some variations and whatnot. Cards are us. You want to try to own a minor league team? That would be fun. And we've got a nice Ramon Laureano. Nice shot. Ricky Henderson in the background. Rookie auto for the A's. Goes to Roy. Last spot mojo, Roy. Nice. Cookie Monster did a rendition of Take Me Out to the Ball Game. No, I have not seen that as of yet. That's another black and white that we'll save. For the Blue Jays. At the Cubs game, that's pretty funny. Dude is a fiend for cookies. He's, I mean, someone should probably talk to him about that. Ooh, and we've got a Stephen Tarpley base card autograph. I have no idea where Stephen Tarpley goes. <laughs> I was like, gonna, I was gonna pretend to know. Let's look at the group break checklist. Stephen Tarpley is a Yankee, and that'll be for Ryan Redman, who got randomized the Yanks. See what's in here. It'll, it's gonna be wow, nice, Babe Ruth. That's a great shot. That's for the Yankees, Ryan Redman. There you go. Oh, is that the video? I'll, I'll allow this link, Chris. I'll allow it. 
I don't have sound on my computer. I'm gonna have to look this up later. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, there it is. Cookie Monster. Take me out to the ball. Kind of sounds like Tungus in the AMPM commercials. <laughs> like, I like how his eyeball, his eyes are all crazy. He's got crazy eyes. Um, final scores today. Cubs beat the Braves 9-7. Kimbrell locking down his first save in his first appearance for the Cubbies, shoring up the back of their uh, rotation. Brewers beat the Mariners 4-2. The Pirates, two wins in a row against the Astros, 10-0. I think they've scored, they scored 14 last night, I want to say. They've scored 24 runs to, like, the Astros is, like, two. They got shut out today. I think they only scored a couple runs yesterday. It's crazy. What's going on with the Astros? At home. The Astros are at home, too. Rangers beat the uh, the struggling Tigers 3-1. to one. I don't. I have Shane Green on my fantasy team. I don't think he's ever going to get a save opportunity again. Uh, Phillies uh, ended up beating the Mets 6-3, to three, I think, in walk-off fashion. Yeah, a couple, couple clutch home runs in the ninth inning to finish off the sweep of the Mets. The Mets, I feel like, they're, they're, they're in a weird place. They're definitely in a weird place. All that drama with the reporters, Mickey Cowboy's apology, non-apology, and then apology. The pitching coach being fired and re being replaced with like some eighty-year-old dude, and I don't know what's going on there. The team's just kind of struggling in general, and that doesn't help. And we are, folks, a little over, or we're about halfway through this half case break. Oh, there it is, Derek Rodriguez. That's a great shot too. Look at that. San Francisco, big, big, uh, illuminated neon Coca Cola bottle back there. And that is 50 out of 50. That'll be for the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo for Mark Matheson. Yeah, I, I don't – I mean, they're they're firing Mickey Calloway at the end of the season, right? Maybe over the All-Star break. You should fire him now, says cards. I mean, they should. I mean, it's kind of a lame duck, right? Like, what? What are they? What are they waiting for? It's gonna get fired anyway. There's Danny Jansen. Blue Jays, another Blue Jay auto for Tim. Well, that, that's that's the problem. It's like who who would they get? You fire a manager. I, I mean, I guess they would just. But then you're stuck with the manager on, a, on an interim basis, so maybe you don't fire him now. Like all, you all, firing him almost is suggesting they're just giving up on the season, and they'll just start a managerial search after the playoffs. And I don't know if they're ready to concede that yet. But I mean, he's he's only got this uh, this season or this summer basically to uh, to basically audition for his job. So they're going to need a big turnaround. Nice. Supreme Hard Court sold out. 
So that'll happen after the stadium club break, which should be another 20, 20 minutes or so. We're almost done. It's Javier Baez. Nice shot there. For the Cubbies, that'll be for Daniel Sloan. Next box. I think Joe Girardi would manage the Mets. I feel like he seems pretty comfortable working at MLB Network. Oh, it's a final. In Minnesota, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. After 18 innings, the Rays beat the Twins 5-2. to two. And the only other game that's active right now are the, uh, the Marlins game. Miami leading the Nationals 3-0. Nice. I'm on the Marlins today. And then late games tonight, uh, my Dodgers are in Colorado, Diamondbacks are in San Francisco, and the A's are uh, in Anaheim. They're playing the Angels. Yeah, I think the soccer, the Immaculate Soccer, Rich, does indeed have, uh, like, one player could be on two different teams. So there could be a a uh, national team version and then a club team version. There is DJ Stewart, rookie auto for the Orioles. Then it'll be for Arturo, who got the O's in that gold rush break. Steve Olson, Hello. Uh, I don't think Elite. I don't think Elite is even sold out yet. Steve Olson, check the website. Has it sold out? No one said anything. If it did, that's the black and white version of Dallas Keuchel. Does that look like that look or like an orange parallel to you, or is that how they usually look? It's not numbered. But yeah, Elite Steve Olsen had, uh, was not sold out when I started this break, but it could be now. I see, see a little over a dozen orders coming in, so I'll be checking orders, going through orders after this break. Oh, we've we've got starters, all star starters, folks. Mike Trout, George Springer is a starter. There's Tyler Skaggs for Daniel Sloan. Michael Brantley is the starter, too. Michael Brantley went healthy. Danger. Orange Blake Snell for the Rays. Gary Sanchez is your AL starting catcher, all star game. Carlos Santana, first base. Yesterday was 
DJ LeMay, who at second base, starting at second for the AL All-Stars. He could win a batting title. And there's Kyle Schorber. Daniel Sloan with the Cubs. Nice shot. A little ding in the corner there, but it's a nice shot. Jorge Polanco at short. Nice. Bregman starting at third. Yeah, all the starters. Hunter Pence is the starting DH. The axe murderer, Hunter Pence. Look at his wild eyes. Look how he swings at bat. Oh, yeah. There was a redemption down there. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, bro. Thirsty for giveaways, man. We we don't. What do you want me to give away? We we don't do anything for free. We do have a lot of giveaways if you join certain breaks. There could be break credit being given away, money given away to the website. Uh, I think the football mixer, if you join that, you have a shot at some money. And there's David Justice for Tim and the Braves. Nice. Cody Bellinger, starter in the outfield. Nice. Ronald Acuna Jr. starter. Wilson Contreras, catcher for the NL. Freddie Freeman at first. There's Kevin Newman. Rookie autograph. For Mark Matson and the Giants. Jackie Bradley Jr., black and white. Red Sox, Eric. Javi Baez, shortstop for the NL. Oh, NL's going to take the AL. Nolan Arenado starting third. Oh, did I miss second base? <laughs> Guy, I'll tell you, is just a run producer. I'm proud of the Bears. I'm proud 
Yelich is, Yelich is in the outfield. Oh, Kettle Marte, of course, is at second base. And there's Big Boppy. He's on the mend. Nice. Kettle Marte has been a fantastic season. I think Josh Bell is on the team. No, I, I just I didn't forget it, AP. I just missed it. I got Kettle Marte on my fantasy team. He's been raking. Raking. I think Josh Bell is on the team, Cards Are Us. I, I don't, he's just not a starter. But I think he's already on the team. How did everyone like this all-star voting process? I thought it was pretty interesting. I think it was, I think it was a lot better than just... I like that players could be nominated to get in. You know, before it was just like, well, here are your all-stars. So I think I thought that was pretty cool. Well, it was they did it differently this year. They they did it so like you could nominate because before it was just like here's your ballot and that was it and then oh, you just voted, right. right? But I think the team the teams would submit the names. Oh. But now the fans could would submit the original names and then oh. the, there was like three different voting process like like elections. Oh. The three different voting processes to see who gets to be an all-star and then who starts and blah blah blah. Yeah, I, I felt like the process was a little little kinda kinda took some getting used to, but if they stick with it, I think it'd be a cool way to do it because instead of just being like because previous years it would just be here's your ballot, there you go. Done. And then you're supposed to vote from there. But this gives the fans an opportunity to kinda get you know, to be involved in the process from from, from start from the nominations to who's an all-star, to who's a starter, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And I think a lot of the players, it was cool too, a lot of the players got, in the, got into the into the game with social media being like, hey, nominate me, vote for me, make me a starter. I thought there were a lot of fun campaigns there too. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. And we got Corbin Burns, rookie auto for the Brew Crew. It's another one for Ryan Redman. That I don't remember. If if they, there must still be a process where managers can add all stars, and I'm sure every team will get will get at least one representative. They usually do that, and that fills out the rest of the roster. Christian Yelich was top vote getter for the NL. Oh, look at this. Uh, I guess it's kind of like a relic. InstaVision, Cal Ripken Jr. That's pretty cool. There you go, and that's the back. It's slightly heavier cardstock. Little thing in the middle right there. That's pretty cool. Orioles, Arturo with that one. And there is Josh Rogers, another Oriole. So, a couple in a row for Arturo. He's got a nice auto, Josh Rogers. Big loopy J. It looks like that's it, folks. 
We've got another half case random team break in the shop right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Obviously, that comes from a fresh case. Random teams should be a lot of fun. Be sure to check it out. There's Francisco Lindor, Beam Team to 99. That's for the Indians, Stephen Surrey. And the last bit here. And the box topper. It's going to be a Cardinal. It's Yachty. Nice Yadier Morlina for the Cardinals. That's for George. Let's do a quick end of video recap here. You got the David Ortiz, the Kyle Schorber, the Javi Baez, the Babe, Arenado, Juan Soto, and Joey Votto, Votto Matic. Here are some of the or the autographs that we pulled and some of the shorter printed variations that we were able to catch. Our shipping team will catch the rest. Nice David Justice. Nice that Brandon Lau out of 10 for the Rays. And Bryce Wilson was the first autograph out of here. There you go, folks. Random Team 2 in the books from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for joining. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.